Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. And if you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side, and we welcome your calls at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, our truth skin health products, ingredients, formulations, or a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, or if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team and start yourself a longevity business, if you're an entrepreneur or entrepreneurially minded, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. All the longevity products are posted. And you can also click on the Join the Team link for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. You can start a longevity business and work out of your home, right off your home office and your mileage and your stamps and uh, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. You can also just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. All for a one-time $25 fee. Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben team, uh, phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And I'd also like to remind you to please check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, or New biomimetic priming mist, biomimetic mineral mist made with fulvic minerals, our uh, peppermint salicylic cleanser, and our hyaluronic acid honey cleanser, all made with out preservatives, just active and functional ingredients. All our truth products are made with active and functional ingredients only. You shouldn't have to pay for water or silicon or oil or stuff that's not going to do anything for your skin. And that's why I created my truth treatments for folks who are savvy and sophisticated and don't want to pay for water or preserve it, or thickener, or silicon. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com, all our Truth Skin Health products are up, including our new connective tissue collagen, re- connective tissue building collagen repair complex. Blemish repair complex should be out next week. So many of you guys have written to me, when's the blemish repair complex coming out again? That uh, blemish repair complex is not just for blemishes, by the way. It's also good for uh, liver health. It's good for blood sugar control. And the NAC in in uh, the blemish repair complex is wonderfully detoxifying as well. All our Truth Skin Health products are up at truthtreatments.com. Check them out. Check them out now if you're interested in high-end, premium, kick-butt skin health products. Truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. All right. Welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We are talking fats. Specifically, we last, uh, last, uh, on our last program, we left off talking about omega-7s. And one of the nature's best sources of omega-7s, which is sea buckthorn oil, the, the Siberian pineapple plant. The sea buckthorn plant makes these, uh, produces these tiny little, well, not tiny, but small berries, orange berries, really beautiful carotene-rich berries. Um, sea buckthorn is getting a reputation for being a wonderful healing oil, and for good reason. It's not just the oil, by the way, that's in sea buckthorn. Sea buckthorn is a great source of vitamin C, great source of folic acid, great source of detoxifying and sun-protecting phytonutrients, including the carotenes. 
And I've often said that if you want to protect your sun, uh, skin from the sun, the best way to protect your skin from the sun is by making sure you're getting internal nutrition, especially colored pigments that are found in fruits and veggies and the orange red color spectrum that is found in the sea buckthorn fruit makes it wonderfully sun protective. It's also helpful for brain health for folks dealing with arthritis. The leaves are a good source of minerals and you can make tea out of the leaves it's like a green tea or rooibos tea. We talked about rooibos tea a couple months back. Um, green tea and rooibos tea have a reputation for being very medicinal and therapeutic and, and, uh, and uh, antioxidant rich and Guess what? Sea buckthorn leaves are almost as potent, maybe as potent as green tea and rooibos tea when it comes to antioxidant protection. It can be used, uh, rooibos, uh, sea buckthorn tea it has weight loss benefits. It's been shown to decrease visceral fat in mice in an article in, that was published in the 2011 issue of the journal Food and Chemical Toxicology. You can get sea buckthorn, sea buckthorn leaves and make your own sea buckthorn tea. Uh, off the internet or in quality health food stores, pretty readily available. And even though most folks have not heard of sea buckthorn, th sea buckthorn tea as a therapeutic beverage, as an antioxidant or anti-aging beverage, soon enough you shall. We're giving you the, we're giving you the heads up here. That's how it is in the world of nutrition. By the time it enters into the mainstream, folks like myself and Dr. Wallach and and other alternative practitioners have oftentimes been talking about it for months and years. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to start to hear much more about sea buckthorn oil, particularly because it's a good source of omega sevens. And you're going to start to hear more about omega sevens, palmitoleic acid. So sea buckthorn oil is getting a reputation for being a good source of sea, uh, of palmitoleic acid, which itself is getting a, uh, a reputation for being good for diabetics, for weight loss, for fatty liver, and especially for the skin. The uh, palmitoleic acid and other fats that are found in sea buckthorn oil have a calming effect on the skin. You can use sea buckthorn oil to soothe bug bites and rashes and sunburn. It's been used to improve the appearance of rosacea. Rosacea is not necessarily a skin condition. Rosacea is an inflammatory condition that in, is initiated in the blood. That's one of the most misleading of all the skin conditions because when we see... Um, when we see uh, uh, anything on the skin, we tend to think, well, that's just a topical problem. And with all skin conditions, they begin in the blood. But rosacea is really not even a skin condition. It is a blood condition. Not only does it begin in the blood, like psoriasis or eczema or other skin conditions, it really isn't even a skin condition. Yeah, it can leak into the skin and you can get uh, an associated oiliness or sometimes acne breakouts with your rosacea. But rosacea is for the most part, a problem in the digestive system and the blood and most rosacea patients will know that there are certain foods that they eat that will make their rosacea worse. That alone tells you that you got a digestive problem. I mean, it's, it's hidden in plain sight. It's pretty obvious if you eat a food and you get, a, you, uh, you get your rosacea symptoms that you're dealing with a food problem and, and, and a digestive problem. In fact, it's really not even the, di the food and the digestion as much as it is a bacteria that's called H. pylori. And it's the food and the digestive system uh, have an impact on how H. pylori, the bacteria H. pylori, shows up. This is why, one of the reasons why antibiotics have an effect, a positive effect on rosacea is because you're killing this H. pylori bacteria. In any case, if you want to take care of it topically, you see sea buckthorn oil. You'll improve the uh, infl uh, inflammation, you'll decrease the inflammation, and you'll improve the overall condition of the skin. Psoriasis, eczema, both of those uh, may benefit from using sea buckthorn oil, omega-7 rich sea buckthorn oil. Sea buckthorn oil is not just a, not just a good source of omega-7s. There's also vitamin E in sea buckthorn oil, and not just any vitamin E, the good stuff, the mixed tocopherols. Vitamin E is made up of mixed tocopherols and mixed tocotrienols. There's four different tocopherols, T-O-C-O-P-H-E-R-O-L-S, and there's four different tocotrienols, T-O-C-O-T-R-I-E-N-O-L-S. We are going to spend some time talking about all the different forms of vitamin E here in a little bit. Uh, probably in the next few days, or maybe in the next week or so. Uh, but in the meantime, just understand that sea buckthorn oil is a great source of vitamin E in the mixed tocopherol form. Four ounces of sea buckthorn uh, oil contain 300 IU of uh, sea buckthorn, of uh, vitamin E, of uh, mixed tocopherols, I'm sorry. And that makes sea buckthorn one of nature's best sources of this very misunderstood and underappreciated nutrient. 
All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, questions about the longevity products or longevity business or true skin health products, ingredients, formulations, something you heard about, read about, or if you just have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Longevity products can be found at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Got blog stories and uh, blog posts and news stories and videos and lots of good health information. We also have lots of health information at benfuchsarchives.com with a search engine. So if you miss a program, you can review uh, specific programs, or if you want to, you didn't catch something I was saying, because I do talk a little fast sometimes, you can review everything, or you can just search for various subjects at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com, and you can purchase your longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call 866-735-2470 for more info. If you're in the Michigan or Detroit area, I should say, Dearborn specifically, Dearborn, Michigan, I will be doing a talk at the Cancer Prevention Convention, which is a uh, full day of cancer specialists. Not that I'm a cancer specialist, but I am a skin specialist, and I'll be talking about skin. Uh, Ty Bollinger will be there. Uh, Robert Scott Bell will also be there. And a whole bunch of other folks. Daryl Wolf will be there. That's Sunday, August 19th, 9 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. at the Dearborn Inn, 20, uh, 20301 Oakwood Boulevard, Dearborn, Michigan, zip 48124. If you want to buy tickets, go to TicketTaylor.com, Ticket Taylor, Taylor spelled T-A-I-L-O-R, TicketTaylor.com and get tickets. They do sell out. The convention does sell out. So if you're thinking of going, you might want to get your tickets early. Last year sold out uh, pretty early. And it is now just uh, two and a half, actually one and a half weeks away, Sunday, August 19th. And I uh, hope to see you there. That's at the Cancer Prevention Convention, Dearborn Inn, 20301 Oakwood Boulevard, Dearborn 48124. All right, got lines open, 844-236-6010. We're talking about Omega-7s and Sea buckthorn oil. Sea buckthorn oil is a source of omega 7s, but a source of so much more uh, than omega 7s. It's a good source of lecithin and other phospholipids. Phospholipids are one of the major classes of fats, along with triglycerides and cholesterol. Phospholipids have really wonderful skin health properties. I use them in my uh, cleansers. Uh, our, uh, our honey, high, hyaluronic honey has phospholipids in it, and phospholipids are important for helping stabilize and uh, improve the, and helping improve the penetration of active ingredients through the surface of the skin. They're penetrating aids. They're parts of the cell. They're natural components of the cell membrane. So not only do they help ingredients penetrate through the skin, through the skin's surface, the stratum corneum, that hard layer on the surface of the skin, but phospholipids can actually help drive active materials into cells. If you've ever heard of something called liposomes, folks who are skincare savvy or who study skincare or consumers who understand skincare know about liposomes. Liposomes are little bubbles that deliver active materials through the skin surface. Liposomes are made up of phospholipids. Phospholipids on their own have wonderful moisturizing properties, and phospholipids have also been shown to help remove excess oils from the skin and excess oils from uh, the hair as well. So uh, sea buckthorn oil, while it is an oil, does contain phospholipids that can help stabilize and help uh, maybe even eliminate some skin oils, i.e. sebum. There's also sterols in Sea buckthorn oil, sterols have an effect on strengthening the skin surface, protecting the skin surface from harmful substances, and also protecting the tissue underneath the skin surface from water loss. Phospho sterols can help, help act as a barrier or support the barrier properties of the skin, thereby improving the elastic nature and the firm nature of the skin. Sterols, specifically one called beta cytosterol, Beta cytosterol is a wonderful sterol, not just topically. Beta cytosterol is almost like a remedy for uh, prostate issues. 
for BPH. If you find yourself, uh, if you're a guy and you're going to the bath, you're in your 50s or 60s and you find yourself, or even 40s for that matter, and you find yourself uh, waking up in the middle of the night going to the bathroom more frequently than you should, that is something you might want to think about using beta cytosterol for. Beta cytosterol is the active ingredient in a lot of these prostate uh, meds that you see advertised on the internet or on television. Uh, there's one called uh, Super Beta Prostate, I think it's called, Super Beta Prostate, and the beta, of course, comes from Beta Cytosterol. You'll find it in the Prost FX. I personally use a lot of Beta Cytosterol every day, um, and I haven't had any prostate issues. I did notice maybe 10 or 15 years ago that I was starting to wake up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom a little more frequently, and that can kind of freak a guy out, especially if it happens in your 40s or when you're in your late 40s. That's a sign that, you know, the body's starting, aging is starting to kick in. I got myself on 300 milligrams of beta cytosterol every night and hasn't happened. Hasn't happened in 15 years or so. And uh, a great source of beta cytosterol is none other than sea buckthorn oil. There's also other sterols in there, other important anti-inflammatory sterols. Uh, and there's also... Uh, in addition to the phytosterols, these, uh, these sterol-like substance, these uh, beta cytosterol-like substances and phospholipids, there's also essential fatty acids, wonderful essential fatty acids in sea buckthorn oil. Both of them major essential fatty acids, uh, the parent essential fatty acids, I should say, omega-6s and omega-3s are found in sea buckthorn oil, especially the omega-3s. There's more omega-3s in sea buckthorn oil than omega-6s, and that's kind of an unusual situation. Most uh, plants will find, you'll find lots of omega-6s in plants, but not a lot of omega-3s. Well, SC buckthorn oil is actually a good source of omega-3s, and it's a good source of a very special and very fascinating omega-6s that we don't talk anywhere near enough about, but we'll be spending some time on. Something called GLA, gamma linoleic acid. GLA is an especially powerful anti-inflammatory. You can use GLA topically. You can uh, get GLA, the main source of GLA is evening primrose oil, but you can get GLA and sea buckthorn oil. And this, in large part, accounts for the wonderful anti-inflammatory effects, the topical anti-inflammatory effects of sea buckthorn oil. GLA is an omega-6. It's not essential. Your body can make GLA, but it's an omega-6 fatty acid, and you can apply GLA topically for rashes and for eczema and for other skin irritations. You can take GLA orally as a supplement whether you take it in the form of evening primrose supplements or your ultimate EFA supplements, which contain GLA, or C. buckthorn oil supplements. And taken orally, it can also have anti-inflammatory effects inside the body. So the same anti-inflammatory effects that you get from, uh, from GLA topically, you can get inside the body when you uh, use your GLA pills or use your C. buckthorn oil pills or use your ultimate EFA pills all, or you uh, use uh, evening primrose oil pills, all of which are good sources of, of GLA. These internal anti-inflammatory benefits are especially helpful for female menstrual issues, for PMS issues, for arthritis, for just for generalized inflammatory pain. And then we come to omega-7s. I haven't forgotten talking about omega-7s. I absolutely am fascinated with these things. Omega-7s, palmitto oleic acid, sea buckthorn oil is one of nature's best sources of palmitto oleic acid. Look, think about all these anti-inflammatory oils you're getting in sea buckthorn oil. You're getting your omega-3s, you're getting your omega-7s, you're getting GLAs. It's no wonder that sea buckthorn oil is gaining a reputation as being a really powerful nutritional substance. Omega-7s, as we've said, are fat burners. And because they're fat burners, they have multifunctional benefits. And one of the best sources, if not, well, one of the best sources of omega-7s, and certainly the main source of omega-7s in the health food store, is going to be sea buckthorn oil. All right, time to take a break. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open. We'll be back right after this. Hi, pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You, you can find all your favorite longevity products at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and my blog, pharmacistben.com. We've got uh, news stories, blog posts, 
on all the websites and videos and lots of good health information and all the longevity products and a join the team now link that you can click on if you want to join the bright side ben team and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and start yourself a business where you can work out of your home work out of your, uh, work as much as mu many hours or as little hours as you like make as much supplemental income or as little supplemental income as you like and you can even just get your products at the wholesale price if that's all you desire, all for a one-time $25 fee. Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470 for more information. We'll get your calls here momentarily. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we will continue talking about sea buckthorn oil. I, I love sea buckthorn oil, but I don't want to mislead anybody into thinking it's kind of a panacea. If you get on the internet and you read some of these, some of the testimonials and some of the marketing copy about sea buckthorn oil, it'll make it sound like it's, it, it helps cure everything. It's not like it's a cure all, but it's just a good source of nutrition. And the fact that it's a good source of nutrition means that it's going to have some health benefits. Internally, you can take it as a supplement. Topically, you can use it as, as a uh, topical skin soothing aid, but it's not like it's going to change your life, sea buckthorn oil, or any of these kind of herbal remedies. Now, nutrition's different. Straight nutritional supplements, they can absolutely have a life-changing effect. Sea buckthorn oil is a good source of nutrients, particular, particularly fatty nutrients, as well as vitamin C, which is not in the oil, but it's in the fruit. Uh, but that doesn't make it a panacea, and I don't want to mislead anybody into thinking that it is. Nonetheless, you may be able to get some benefits. Uh, and especially because of the fatty acids, particularly omega-7s, which we will be talking about uh, tomorrow. We'll continue talking about tomorrow. 844-236-6010 is our number from NYC, NYU School of Medicine, published online in the uh, online journal eLife. Past experiences shape what we see more than what we're looking at now. This is so amazing. A rope coiled on a dusty trail may trigger a frightened jump by a hiker who recently stepped on a snake. Now a new study explains how a one-time visual experience can change perceptions. Quote, our findings provide important new details about how experience alters the content-specific activity in brain regions. Unquote. That means basically what, this is that was, uh, Dr. By. Bayou High, I think he says, or Bayou He, PhD, at, uh, assistant professor in the Departments of Neurology and Radiology and Neuroscience and Physiology at NYU School of Medicine. Uh, the idea being that what, we see, what we've seen in the past is going to affect how we see the future. Our past affects the future. And this is so important when it comes to healing. We're obsessed with this on this program, and in my practice, I tend to focus on nutrition and diet and exercise even. But the fact of the matter remains, how we perceive the world, how we perceive our experiences plays a major role in what shows up in the body. And how we perceive the world is largely a function of our past experiences. There's actually been a study, a famous study called the Adverse Childhood Experiences Study, the ACEs study, A-C-E study, Adverse Childhood Experiences Study, which linked adverse childhood experiences and trauma in the past to health challenges in the present. And this is so important to recognize because we tend to overlook these powerful healing modalities that we have in our, at our disposal. That is our perception, the power of our perception, which in turn is affected by, the, by our memories for better or for worse. We've got to deal with the past. We've got to understand how we are affected by the past if we're going to be able to change our present and our future. The present and the, uh, and the future are in large part the end result of how, we, how we've lived our lives or the kind of experiences we've had in the past. And understanding this relationship is very, very important if we're going to be able to heal ourselves. If you found yourself uh, sick or dealing with some kind of health challenge and you're doing all the great things physically, you're exercising, you're eating correctly, you're uh, using your almighty 90 essential nutrients, and you still have health challenges... You can pretty much rest assured that there's something percolating underneath the physical dimension at the level of emotions, at the level of, uh, our, of the way we're thinking, and at the level of our spirituality, and how we see the world, which itself is a function of the past, that needs to be addressed or that is not being addressed. And this is not just kind of some kind of airy-fairy idea. This is hardcore biochemistry. How we perceive the world is a function of our past, 
and how we perceive the world is going to affect our physiology via our hormones. That's what hormones are. Hormones are the biochemical link that connects the invisible world of thoughts and emotions and spirituality to the physical world of physiology. It all comes through the hormones. And this invisible world is itself largely a function of what's happened to us in the past. From uh, the journal Science Translational Medicine, researchers from McMaster University have found that bacteria in the gut impact both our intestines, obviously, and our brain, less obviously. Yes, our gut is constantly talking to our brain via our gut bacteria, and there's a major relationship between things like IBS, diarrhea, constipation, and anxiety, and depression, and dementia and Parkinson's disease symptoms. If you're dealing with any mental health issues, the first thing you want to do, from a physiologic perspective that is, the first thing you want to do is work on your gut health. This, is, this effect between the digestive system and the brain is especially prominent in folks who have autism, and kids who have autism, as well as psychotic disorders like schizophrenia. If you've been diagnosed or you know somebody who's been diagnosed with schizophrenia or for that matter autism, have whoever it is focusing, or a parent of whoever it is, focusing on digestive health. In fact, cut to the chase, always focus on digestive health. It's the linchpin. It's the fundamental place where disease or health shows up. It's the first point on the triangle of disease. From the digestive system, it's, uh, blood sugar problems are inevitable. From there, cortisol and adrenal issues are inevitable. Triangle of disease. And from there, mental health issues are going to be inevitable as well. The gut-brain connection is underestimated at our own peril, especially if we're dealing with mental health challenges, including depression, including anxiety, including jitteriness, bipolar disorder, autism, schizophrenia, you name it. All right, 844 is our number. Let us go to, do, do, do. let's go to Dorium in Virginia. Good morning, Dorium. Well, where's Dorium? Good ben, morning, what's Dorium. What's on? up, buddy? Hey. I'm all right. Hey, what's um, up? Well, I had my friend diagnosed with, uh, well, cancer diagnosis. She wanted to know if after chemotherapy she can go out in the sun. That's a great question. Chemotherapy will, will totally rip up the skin, and he might find himself much more sun sensitive. Nonetheless, the sun can be very healing, not just for the skin, but also can be healing for the immune system or healing for immune system problems, I should say, inflammatory problems, and maybe even via the vitamin D have anti-cancer benefits. So you don't necessarily want to deprive yourself of the sun, but he will find himself burning much more readily, and he'll find himself much more sensitive to the sun. So there's a couple strategies for you, because I don't recommend avoiding the sun, although I recommend and being careful with the sun. So hang on, I'll give you a couple strategies that will help him leverage the power of the sun uh, without burning or without causing any problems. Don't go away, Dorian, okay? I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side talking to Dorian in Virginia. Hey, Dorian, for your friend. Hey. Uh, Sun's great stuff, but after chemotherapy, the skin will be very sensitized, so he's got to be super careful. Uh, I would be making sure he's getting enough fats, essential fatty acids. Uh, essential fatty acid deficiency can exacerbate or even cause destabilization of the skin. Sensitive skin, by the way, can be uh, the end result of essential fatty acid deficiency. I'm assuming, and I'm not even going to go into the digestive, the whole the digestive thing, he's got to work on the digestive system because he, if he's not absorbing fats, he's not going to get the benefits of the essential fatty acids. So we're just going to assume that the digestive system is working okay. That's a big assumption. Uh, if he does have digestive health problems, he's going to want to use his, his ultimate nightly essence probiotics and ultimate enzymes and also bile salts, extra bile salts and apple cider vinegar. We're making sure he's absorbing all the things I'm telling you about is obviously important, but we're not going to go into that. I just want to tell you how specifically for the skin, ultimate EFAs, maybe nine a day, lots of phytonutrients, specifically colored phytonutrients, the reds and the blues and the oranges and the greens. Uses, uh, use veggies with butter, braise or steam veggies with butter to release those fatty nutrients for the skin. And then making sure that he's getting things like vitamin A, maybe 20,000 international units of vitamin A, MSM sulfur, maybe about 1,000 a th a milligrams a gram or even up to 2 grams a day. 
and then also vitamin E mixed to cofferols, 400 international units a day. Uh, I'd be doing the Beyond Tangy Tangerine for the B-complex, the Ultimate EFAs for the essential fatty acids, zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day, very healing and very stabilizing for the skin, and then making sure he's staying away from foods that he has problems processing. If he has any food allergies or food intolerances, those can destabilize the skin as well. Make, it, make sure he doesn't burn. Stay out in the sun a little, get out in the sun a little bit, but making sure he's not staying out there too long to burn. It's the burning that's the problem, not so much the sun. And making sure that you don't burn, making sure that you're, you're staying out and getting some sun, but not burning is really the key to the whole thing. The nutrients will help that way, help prevent him from burning and allow him to get some sunshine, some ultraviolet or UVB particularly without burning. Okay, is that helpful, Dorian? Sounds good. Hi, right, buddy. What, yeah? What's the... Fatty. What's the vitamin C that you you have a vitamin? I have C a topical fatty. Yeah, our topical yeah. Fatty, fatty vitamin C will definitely help them from a topical perspective. Truth Transdermal C Serum is the way I would go. Uh, also, okay. Truth Omega Six Healing Cream is made with a big dose of fatty vitamin C as well, and that's more soothing and healing. It's it's less vitamin C than the our Truth Transdermal C Serum, but it's much more soothing and healing, for, especially effective for post sun treatment, uh, post-sun treatment, or even for treating sunburn. All right, I want to motivate here. Dorian, I've got some calls I want to get right. to. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Let's go to uh, Slovenia, I think. Is that Slovenia D? Are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, all right, so I got some, uh, some updates. Because uh, 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 the big, uh, I'm just going to get the point. The big thing I have is uh, uh, when uh, uh, I, I feel a uh, big relief after the bowel movement. So, uh, I think that uh, before a few hours or just um, basically when I'm constipated, then I have the biggest uh, the flare up, the skin eruption. The, and the big thing is that I have this mental, uh, it, it's basically because it basically become like a, like a zombie or something, you know. Huh, basically, brain I fog? Just, and, do you know brain yeah, fog? I don't know what is easy. I don't know exactly what is it, but it's like. Uh, but but let let me get because uh, you know I'm kind of calling from. It's kind of expensive calling, uh, you know. So I want I, I want to just get to, uh, to all the all the points too. Uh, I uh, so I was like ten days in the hospital. Uh, after I I didn't even know this, you know a lot of stuff happened, you know, in these few weeks, and uh, it, I was like ten days in the hospital. They found out. Of, uh, a small height of hernia, and uh, I lost a lot of weight uh, mm. in the upper body. I lost a lot. I'm basically bones. I'm like uh, 71 kilograms. That's that's like uh, that's one five eight, one fifty fifty eight. How tall are you? Uh, yeah, how tall is uh, I think six feet. Uh, six yeah, six. six uh, no, uh, one eight, uh, one hundred and eighty-three centimeters. That is okay. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Six, six What's, feet, I'm not exactly uh, sure with that. One hundred eighty-three centimeters. That's like six foot or so, right? Six foot. Yeah. Six foot, foot tall. Feet, okay. Uh, so yes. Yeah. So yes, you're definitely you're definitely uh, on the lean end, and they're blaming the hiatal hernia. Uh, basically, uh, I didn't. I was just, uh, I didn't yet go to the doctor. I was just out of the hospital, uh, but I, I didn't, I had no mental, uh, oh, I, I fallen off the, the, the stairs, uh, my bones hurt and everything. And I was having no, I was having duration uh, problems. I, I found that. All right, listen, D, I D, I'm not, nausea. D, let me get, let's, right, let uh, me just cut to the chase here, because right. I'm not quite understanding what you're saying, but I want to get you so you're strong again. The hiatal hernia, yeah. just for the listeners, a hiatal hernia is when the stomach, uh, the, the part of the stomach pushes upwards through an opening in the diaphragm. It can be asymptomatic, but it sounds like you're having... Do you have heartburn issues, by the way? Yeah, that's the, the yeah. thing that I never had heartburn except when I was like in an argument really or stressed out. But I... Oh, one big thing I, I want to really point out. I, I was... Uh, you know, I, I know all the basics, but I wasn't putting them to use. In these three weeks, I'm putting all the bone soups and all the stuff. I got all the supplements you talk about uh, I, I got them and uh, all the just all the stuff the big thing I want to get to is uh, I'm kind of I thought uh, weight is still getting down that that's what I'm worried for and I still don't feel in the 
you know, uh, mentally, I, I just don't feel, yeah, I have this Right, because you're malnourished. But you're, basic, you're basically yeah. malnourished. So there's a couple things you want to yeah, do. I'm, First I'm, of all, uh, the, big, the biggest point uh, is that I'm not wasting all this uh, mild absorption, you know. So I'm not all, all of this, the stuff that I eat. I hope I'm not wasting. I hope well, I hope you're I not also. But here's the, listen, listen let me get. Yeah. Let me get to let me get to answer yeah. your question because we're going to run out of time here. Okay, first of all, right. uh, you want to. I would go find a chiropractor for the hiatal hernia. I would see if you can get some manipulation for that because that's going to mess up your ability to get nutrients into your system. Uh, there are chiropractors who can put the hiatal or put the hernia back in, or put the stomach back in place to manipulate to do it. So I would be looking for body work or chiropractor specifically. That's the first thing, and then uh, the next thing I would be doing is lots of liquid protein and liquid nutrition in general, beyond tangy tangerine, for example, the continue with the bone broth, uh, also bone broth protein, and then also getting into doing some resistance training, some weightlifting and resistance training, but in conjunction with the nutrition, both together, don't overdo the resistance training, don't overdo the weightlifting, yeah, but yeah. just start a weightlifting program in conjunction with all of the nutrition. So the big three, number one, manipulation by a chiropractor. Chiropractors can, uh, a lot of chiropractors can fix hiatal hernias. Number two, um, uh, making sure you're doing liquid nutrition, lots of liquid, especially liquid protein. And number three, doing some uh, weightlifting or some kind of resistance training. It doesn't have to be with weights. You can use bands or you can uh, use, just invent your own weights. You can just get a couple milk, gallons of milk and work that way or get some dumbbells and work out of your home. Uh, but some kind of resistance training to build muscle. The combination of resistance training plus the nourishment is going to help you gain weight, lean body weight. And then the chiropractor can help you with your uh, hiatal hernia. I'm going to let you go, D. I only yeah. got about a minute. I hope I helped you out, buddy. Thanks for your call from Slovenia. Appreciate it. Amy, you get the last word. What's going on? Amy in California. Got about a minute here. Okay. I hope, it, hope I have enough time. Hey, I commented on the fish oil, and I mentioned it's a cleaner way to take fish oil was a brand I named. But I would like to suggest, I don't know if you've ever read the book Killer Fish or something fishy about fish oil. Because okay. once, you take, once you take fish out of water, it oxidizes. So you're going to yes. have oxidized. Oil. Yes. So yes. is fish oil really good for us? And I think we all should do our homework and decide if, you know, getting blue green algae or the omega threes from greens yeah. are much much better. Yeah. Or no, that's should... all of those are points well taken. Uh, fish oil can be a problem because of the rancidity. Uh, Carl, some of the the really reputable companies will make sure that that doesn't occur. They'll use vitamin A, vitamin E, and they'll process the fish quickly. But yeah, fish oil can be a problem. Absolutely. The DHA and the EPA are super valuable though. Um, and there's other ways to get DHA and EPA. You can get, uh, like you say, you, you can use algae to get your DHA and EPA. Um, but they're just hard to find, and fish oil is such a great source of it. But the rancidity can be a problem. Uh, most of the, uh, the reputable companies like Carlson's and Nordic Naturals will protect against rancidity, but that is something that you're going to have to concern yourself with. Now, the body can make DHA and EPA. They're not essential. So if you use flaxseed oil or a seed oil, the body can make the DHA and EPA so uh, it may be that you don't even need the DHA and EPA. Your body can make it. I'm, I'm erring on the side of getting the DHA and EPA. Personally, that's my take. But your point is definitely well taken, Amy. And by the way, Amy, there's uh, – well, I, we're out of time. But there's some controversy about the last thing we talked about, uh, the fermented cod liver oil. There's Different people have different takes on that. Uh, and I, I, I'm, yes, Susie Fa uh, uh, Fa – I forgot her name. Fallon, F-A-L-L-O-N. Mary Fallon, yeah. I think. She has a different take than uh, Kayla Daniel. Anyway, got to go. Sally Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it, Amy. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.